All right, I've got a bunch of strips of wood here. They're like, I don't know, two centimeters across, less than an inch. And this, this surface here and this surface here are excellent. But I need, well, I need it to be a specific, a set width and smooth on both sides, right? So I'm gonna run it through my planer, which does an excellent job of that. The tricky thing is though, if the board is standing up like this, you know, I, it, I'm gonna have to do something to make sure it stays vertical and doesn't start, you know, and getting screwed up. So here's my, here's my giant planer. What's the, what's Karen's favorite piece of machinery? It's a planer because she can come planing. <laughs> Complaining. <laughs> All right, planer, I think this is gonna be as simple as just clamping a couple of boards like this. All right, I think that's good enough. If I make it any tighter, I think it's stuck. Great, but eh, close enough. I think I can get away with this. And I'm sure with some practice I'll get better. I am not sure how I'm gonna make this happen. I am pretty committed to it. <laughs> Oh, better get planing. I'm gonna need like about 250 of these things. Okay, somewhere around that. It's 
pretty good. Right here I've got a bit of space. But I think that's because my the curve I cut, <clears throat> you know, is not perfect. So instead of trying to force this to meet this, I'm gonna leave this where it is because this is probably gonna define a better curve than what I cut. So I'll just have to, you know, wood filler in here and then hopefully all the rest of the boards will, will fit well. Uh, I also have to finish these. So this part of this wall is spackled, but if we go over here, those ones are all good. Those ones are all good. Uh -huh. Not yet spackled, not yet spackled. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of them over here. Yeah, as I suspected, you know, these get easier the more you do them. I find that happens with a lot of things. It's, geez, the hardest thing so far is to get the last edge in. It's really easy to put those in, but I gotta bend this to get it to line up. You know what? All right, let's just use muscles. Come on, muscles. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Ah, oh, beauty. Yeah, those are coming together really nice. The space there. Excellent. Oh, yeah, but for the most part, two strips are going together pretty tight. Ooh, this one even squirted out the glue. I don't want to put a million screws in this because I'll run out of screws. Plus, I don't think it needs it because these strips are thin enough and I have long enough screws that... Okay, on this first board, I put a screw at this end and all the way at the other end. But then here, this one gets it at this end, but the screw goes through this one into here. So the first board gets screwed in there and here. Well, it's all of these that I have cut and ready to go right now. So I need to go out and cut some more. Except right now it's pouring rain, so I'm gonna do something else. Oh, I was gonna go somewhere, but I think I'm gonna go back inside now. Yep. All right, today I've got my concrete and clothes on, complete with already holy shirt, so I don't have to worry about wrecking it. And uh, I've got a situation where several people have been telling me that this 30 degree banked floor is gonna be too steep. I'm not gonna be able to run down it. It's not gonna be any good. So we've made a bet. Uh, just, a, just a gentleman's bet. It's not really for anything. Well, it's for I told you so's. Although I did offer to pay a million nothings if I lose the bet, which I will pay. If I lose this bet, I will pay a million nothings. But I am, I am very confident that this will not be too steep. If anything, it may not be steep enough. But there are several people who are telling me that 30 degrees is too steep. Like you would have to run so fast to be running at a 30 degree angle. Man, I, here's what I think is happening. I think a lot of people or at least the people who are concerned, are basing their estimations upon non-athletic people. You know, maybe people who just, just kind of jog a little real slow. Yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. You could just run on the flat floor. But I'm, I'm a runner, man. I've been running all my life. I used to run track and field. It's, I still run. And I have, I have four kids. I'm pretty sure three of them could run on this with, without, any, without any difficulty. Like my six-year-old son... I'm pretty sure he goes fast enough that he can run on a 30 degree bank in this house and be totally good. Anyway, what am I working on today? So these, these are going in so fast. This is just a few hours of work, like you know, two or three hours. And it starts way over there and it goes like way down there. I'm, I'm like halfway around the building already. But that's because you know the strips are long and I, I can't build them up until I have, like I have to put a strip on the end and then build them up. Uh, but yeah, these are going so fast um, that I'm starting to cover up the wall here because when this comes up, like half of that wall section is going to be covered. And I have not finished spackling all of this. 
So these ones are all done. Here, let me show you. Okay, these are spackled, spackled, spackled. Ah, yes, right here. Oh, come on, window glare. Yeah, yeah this is just um, styrocrete right here. So I need to smear some mortar on. Oh, I've got a window below and above. That's why the lighting is so bad right here. You know, let's go right here. <laughs> There's no window in this spot. Yeah, so I just need to, to spackle over this, smooth it out. There's a lot of them. And what the heck happened up here? My kids went crazy. My kids make a mess up here sometimes. <gasps> the Lego zone! The Lego is out of the Lego zone! Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna be in trouble. These are more strips to do the floor. I'm sure I don't have enough strips cut yet. However, I do have a bunch of more boards. There's a board there I can cut. And then I can use all these. Man, there are a lot of these. Yeah, I gotta do the ones up here too. I eventually need to spackle the entire ceiling, which is gonna be crazy. But I wanna, I wanna finish the third floor before I worry about spackling up there. It'll be a lot easier then. Ooh, I did do a section over here. This, this part's spackled. Those ones? I don't know, I just did random ones. Yeah, this whole section down here. This is all going to be used to make styrocrete. For doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I have a lot to do. Anyway, a few days ago, I ordered some, some sand to be delivered. And it's all on the beach right now. And when I got it, it was kind of salty. I don't know where they got it, but it, it has some salt in it. And I didn't want to use it. However, last night it rained buckets. So the salt should be rinsed out of it. Um, particularly if I just take the sand off the top. Anyway, I'm going to go get some sand off the beach. Uh, that's piled up a, well above, you know, the sea level. So it's not getting more salt. And I have some cement over there. I'm just going to shut up and start spackling today. <coughs> All right. I've got my bucket of sand. Oh, lizard, get out of here. No, you cannot be in here when I'm doing this. You I had to kick a lizard out of a hole up here. Anyway, I've got sand, cement, more sand than cement. I don't know, like two sand per cement and then enough water to make it like that. Um, and, okay, I can't just start these at the bottom and smear up, which would be the easy thing to do, right? Because when I get to the top, it's a problem. So I gotta start at the top. And, Getting the stuff up in here is basically the reason why I haven't spackled these yet, which is why I've been putting it off so for so long. So, you know, we start throwing it. Try and make sure I don't get the stuff everywhere. I also don't have a good one of these. I just get one of these. Ah, whatever. I don't care. It's good enough. Now, the nice thing about this is everything that drips down, I can then use the smear up. Come on, get in that corner. Get in that corner. And then while I do these, I also try to smooth out this part. And I get the sand up getting all over my hands. This is the first one I'm doing today. I've already got some on my hands. Anyone who does cementy stuff knows that the cement is corrosive. After a little while, it starts, you know, kind of eating away at your fingers. All right, Jamie, you gotta develop a better technique there. Okay. Now I can smear up from the bottom. All right. 
Yeah, we're starting to get somewhere. 15, 16, 17. Okay, 17 to go. I think today I did about 15. Today I did start at 11, so one more full day should get the rest done.